We have a couple of new additions to the solar setup. I want to build a small portable unit. Uh, I've been looking at the um, EcoFlow. They don't make sense. And that you've got a, the, the beginning box only has like 1024 in terms of battery watts. And but an 1800 watt inverter, I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna run something for 30 minutes? 1800 watts of power through the inverter, but only um, 10, or 1000 watts on the battery. Obviously they want you to connect it. I mean, you look at to, to their extension, I mean, you look at that battery, each extension is another 800, the, the beginning box is 800 bucks, each extension battery is 800 bucks. So with what I've got set up out there with the, uh, the little uh, ampere time battery and these, I'm gonna build something portable. So what it starts off with, I'm, I'm always using the uh, 100 amp AWG, and that has 150 amps, sorry, the one AWG cable, which gives me 150 amps. So I just found these yesterday. This is a 150 amp rated bus bar. All the other bus bars only had the one, two, three, and four big terminals, but I wanna run a couple of smaller uh, 12 volt items off of this. The, I wanna have a couple of USB and a couple of the uh, cigarette lighter adapters. And so this way I can have the battery, you know, the breaker, the solar uh, controller, and maybe a charger all hooked up to this guy and then the little guys going in between. So excited about these, just saw this yesterday. And I wanna get these in, kinda of put these in the box. And then the other part is this. You can see from my other videos, I'm using that GN Dell 2200. And I'm very, very pleased with that product. So this is their 1200 watt model. But the thing with this, is that this will spike to 2400 watts. So what do we got here? Let's have a look at this guy. Okay, nicely packaged. Your little remote, five AWG cables, and another little, oh, a grounding strap. Very nice, a little grounding wire. And um, your little remote, never use these. But what I like about this, is that it is small, light, and um, it comes with USB. Let me get it out of here for one second. Hold on. So this is going to sit on top of, I'm, in my design of the box, I'm going to have a little, uh, probably about two feet wide and 11 inches tall. The EcoFlows are 12 inches tall. So this is gonna sit on the right-hand side of the battery box with this exposed through the box wall. And on here, you've got two USBs, a fast charger, and even the new port, the smaller port. And here's your intakes and two uh, 110s with a power cord here. I could use that extension, but it doesn't make any sense. So this is my design. This is what I'm hoping to do. I'm gonna build a little box and put this guy in it. And so it'll sit, it'll be sitting here on the box, and then one battery here or maybe two. And that's the point of the box is that um, I'll be able to go to adding a second battery, not for $7.99, but for $300, which is what you can get the LI time for. Um, I've already got the batteries out there now, which I'm not really using, I don't need them. So uh, I can run what I do every day, my little trimmer, my lawnmower, off the two that I have. I'll show you that once we start working on the box. But this is the toy for today. And on the back of the box, of course, I'll make a little opening for this so that the, the fan can exhaust without putting heat into it. And uh, this is gonna be fun. This is a great looking little inverter. Very small. And I love the fact that it already has the USBs as well as the 110 and even the new fast charge built into it. So here we go. What I'm gonna do as a starting point with this new little inverter is take this last battery off. Um, you know, I ran for 11 days, a 5,000 BTU air conditioner, a small microwave on these three batteries. And for what I'm using day to day, I, I use the, uh, you know, to charge my trimmer and my lawnmower, the big guy here. So, 
and I certainly don't need four batteries for that. So I've already bought these. I'm gonna take this one off the end um, and hook it up to this little guy. And just so you can see for comparison, you know, this is the GNDL that I've been using now for a couple of years and I'm very happy with it. But look at this little guy. Uh-huh. You can see very compact. Now you don't get the 2200, but you are getting uh, 1200, uh, you know, like usable watts, not usable, but constant with a spike of 24. So this is going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to getting together with this. Uh, sorry for the mess in here now. You know, we're, we're expecting a hurricane. I can't do it right now today because that storm is coming. Um, and I, I've got this all set up now for that storm coming in. So I've got this fridge cooling just off the main house power to bring it down to 27. And then uh, if we do start losing power, you know, that'll all be running off the little 12 volt system here.